Hi, it's Nick. Making this video to see if the cold card operates. I know that the body of the cold car, uh, it came off. And it has a pin over here on this side. And then this gate for the railing. It has another pin. And... Uh, I gotta figure out you know, how how this works and uh, how it sets up, and then I'd be able to attach this to it. But before I made the video, I, I did investigate whether the uh, the coil works, and I had to do, make some adjustments. Now on this truck here, this coupler. Uh, was on it and I took it off because um, as you can see underneath it you have this shoe that picks up this uh, middle this railing right here and you have another shoe that picks up this railing what was happening is that the railing this part right here was defected in here so what I did was I took the old one off the truck and I put this new one on. I had one which I purchased uh, maybe two years ago when I was at a car sh uh, train show. But anyway, I put it on and I'll demonstrate it where it does work now. So we'll put it on the track. Put some power on. And that that plunger should come up. There it goes. But sometimes it sticks, but but it's working at least. Or intermittent. <laughs> it's old. There we go. Alright, so at least I know the coil works. The plunger comes up. So that plunger, of course. <clears throat> is underneath the, the car and then what it would do it would tilt it and then when you release the button and the coil de-energizes the plunger drops back in but I now I have to see how <clears throat> I'm going to connect the body to the frame and be able to uh, work. So let's take a look at it and see. I try not to get my hands in the way. <clears throat> like I said, on this side, the railing, which is attached, and there's like a gear here, and then there's a, a piece of metal. And that metal is for this slot right here, I think. It lines up. You have one on this side and one on that side. And I just want to see if it does fit in there. So I'm going to have to pick it up and see um, whether that can go in there. Hmm. That's going to be easy, I'll tell you that. Well, let's try it again. Well, I notice they have a common slot in here. So maybe this backs out. Let's see. Mm, I don't think so. It's not turning or it's frozen in there. It's hard to tell. I think it's... Why would they have that if it didn't turn? Um, 
Maybe it's frozen. It's a possibility. Let's see if I get a bigger screwdriver. Uh, let's try this one. Of course, I don't want to break it. I don't know how I get it to replace that. I don't think that. Oh, yeah, it did turn. It turns. And it's screwing it's screwing out. Okay, that's good. So that's the gear. And this is the pin. So uh I guess that's how that works. So let's see if we can get that in here. Um, I guess it goes this way. Uh, put the... Wait a minute. It might be wrong. Maybe it goes this, goes this way. And dip, dumps. Okay. So... Let's see how that's going to work out. Put that gear back in. I guess the gear goes this way. Some real small parts. Wash, lock washer. All right, so we put the lock washer on. <clears throat> and we'll put the gear on. And then we'll screw it back in. how it works. Yeah, it's screwing in. Alright, now let's see if we can get this to fit into I think that slot right there. Which I think it just went in. Yeah, it's in. Now we go on the other side. And now we I have to figure out how this works because it seems to be on a swivel. There's a, a screw here. So let's screw this one in. Let's get this, maybe that screw, screwing in a little bit more. The reason why I'm screwing it in is because I, I want to pass that piece of metal there and then bring it in and hoping that that's how it goes. We'll just screw this one in. And I don't know what this one is, but we'll see what it is. And, oh, maybe, maybe these two screws get this in here. There's two little, I don't know if you can see this. I don't want to lose that. But there's two little slots. And on this piece of metal, you have two slots. So those tabs probably go in the slot. And then these screws, there's two screws, and I have a feeling those screws go in here. But I don't know what holds it on, unless there was two nuts and uh, they're missing. I, I don't see it. 
But anyway, let's get these in here. Um, and we got to get this so that this pin goes in that hole to hold the uh, and this is interesting. Yeah. Now, if I get this so that it, it goes in the slot, I hope I can do it. Something's stopping it from going in there. Now, what could that be? I'm, I believe it faces this way. Because you see this piece right here? On the other one, um, which is that piece of metal, is facing that way. So I would say that this one has to face the same direction on the other side, towards the body. But again, I'm having trouble t to line it up to f so it'll slide in the, those little tabs will slide in those openings. But, well, you know what? Let's just take this off. See what's doing that. Okay, we'll start all over. Here's the two slots. And here's some guides or brackets. And I'm assuming that those screws line up and drop in there. So let's get this back set up this way, like so. And it just won't go in. And Maybe I have to force it in a little bit. Huh? I don't know what, what's causing that. Maybe this, this screw. I'll back the screw out. Maybe I have to back it all the way out. Make it flush with this piece of metal here. Hope you can see that. Very interesting. All right, and this one's flush. So maybe now it might line up and those pins will fall right into the uh, opening, I hope. No, okay, I think maybe this bracket is what holds it, like so. Maybe that's how it is. So let's loosen up on this screw. And, oh boy, this is going to be fun. It's frozen. I don't want to break it. Maybe, maybe, oh, maybe not. Maybe not. All right, let's, let's look at this again. What I'm trying to do is get distance between this piece of metal and this piece of metal. So let's see if it'll slide down in there. If it has enough, it doesn't seem to be for some reason. Well, let's back this out or maybe we have to take it out completely, which I really don't want to. Now, I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but it seems like it might be the right way to do it. And this is what might be holding that. But it's not enough distance for it to go down. That's interesting. Let's see.
What's holding that? You see now this one this one is fl is flush right here. It's flush. But this side I have to bring it down a little bit more to get this this railing flush with the body. But something is stopping it from doing that. And that's what I'm trying to find out. Is it this piece? Oh, it went in. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is tighten up on these two screws. And in doing that, it should push this piece of metal back against this metal, which is part of the body, and it should uh, hold it in place. Now let's, let's see if it's going to do that. And we'll tighten up on this one. Uh, and it does. And it's not moving. Did you see what I had to do? These two screws right in here. They're attached to here. So when I screw it in, it puts, it squeezes this piece of metal and this metal between, that'll hold onto this metal right here. I hope you can see that. Right there. Now. Now to get the body back on there. Where this pin will be in this opening. Well, let me do that. This pin here will go into that opening. And this pin will go into that opening. And let's see how we're going to do that. Because I don't think I have that much play to do it. And I think I know how you do it. That's interesting. I'm trying to line it up, but um, I don't know if it has enough. Something seems to be holding it so it won't slide in there. And I can't see it yet. Unless I put that in first and then put that on. That's a possibility. <clears throat> ah, maybe if I drop that. There's the hole and there's the pin. But for some reason, <laughs> oh, all right, it went in. Oh, that's good. All right, now let's see if we can get this side. Okay. Yeah, I got to back this screw out. Now, now I noticed something. Is that gear where it should be? That's a good question. Can you see that? I hope. Huh. Yeah, I think that goes up like that. Can I see? Does it line up? Let's see. There's, there's the opening. Oh, something was blocking it. What's blocking it? And uh, I do see it, the opening. All right, let's put this back together. And we'll see. Here's the washer, the lock washer. Here's the gear. 
Or does the gear go on here? Or maybe the gear goes on there and the lock washer goes here. That makes sense. Yeah, maybe that's how it goes. It's not wobbly now. All right, let's try it again, fellas. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Just lost the washer. Uh, I hate to take that off again. I think I might have to take the body off again. All right, let's get the gear. That's the gear, and it's on the heavy part of the shaft. And there's the lock washer. And now to put it on here without anything falling off. Sorry my hands are blocking it, but I don't know how else to do it. Get this ply. Uh, 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 uh. Come on, get in there. Ah, this is okay. Don't, don't, don't fall, don't fall. <laughs> and it fell. Let's try it again. Okay. Boy, do you have to have patience when you're working with these old train cars. I can just get it in that hole. Right? It's on gear. I know what what's happening. It's uh, the gear. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, now I got it. Let's just catch the couple of threads so it stays in place. All right. Now, if I could unscrew this one, then I can back this one out, this one out, and it probably fits in your screw and your screw. But I'm afraid that this is frozen. I don't want to break it. So we'll see what happens. We'll try it again. Get this side in. Drop that. Uh, Alright, that's in. I'll lift that up. And we'll see. Alright, Nick. I found the, uh, the lock washer and I put it back on the shaft. So now I'm going to try to see if I can get that pin in the hole of the uh, you know the body so I got a heavier ply maybe that'll help me so uh, I'm trying not to get my hands in the way uh, let's see can you see that yeah you can see that. okay oh boy Lift it up just a little bit. I think I got it. Maybe not. Yeah, I did. Let's see if it stayed in there. No, didn't. Got to grab it with the pliers and slowly back it out a little bit. Maybe drop that down. Oh, don't lose it. Okay, just back it out a little bit.
Let's see if we got it, fellas. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I got a feeling we got it. It's a little stiff, though. But we got both pins in the hole on each side. But uh, for some reason, when I lift it, this doesn't come down. So something is uh, something is not working right. And I think I know what it is. Yeah. <clears throat> see the gear? Let me see if I get in the light. All right, this is the gear that's on the shaft. But this is the gear that's on the cart right here. And this gear, I think, has to mesh with this gear on the, on the door. And uh, I don't know how I'm going to do that unless, I don't know. It seems like it's too far away. They're not lining up. They're definitely not lining up. Maybe that washer is... That seems to... Yeah, see, that, that, that side is okay. It's this part. It's just not that two gears are not lining up. And uh, I'm trying to figure out what I can't try push it back this way. I says there's not enough. Oh wait a minute. Wait. Let's see if I back it up a little bit. I don't back it up too much. Okay. Okay, so there's play, but the play is in front of this piece of metal, but the gear is back here. And this gear has to be close to this. How am I going to do that? Hmm. Let's say I have to take that off again. I think you can see that, right? Right in here. This gear has to come over almost where the, the frame is. That holds the, that the pin goes through. Now, I can't believe that this gear goes in front of there. I don't see how it has that much room. Unless when I put this on, I had to get this over this. I don't know how I'm going to do that either. Ah, oh. the joys of repairing old trains, cars, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to take this off. Definitely don't want to do that. Definitely that gear, I don't know if you can see it. This gear has to be moved over so it lines up with this gear. And now that's the trick. How the heck am I going to do it? And I bring the screw it in, it brings the gear close, but it seems like it's even on an angle because it's hitting the small gear, the frame of the small gear. I 
and it's just not going to work its way over there. That is very interesting. And there's not that much. Oh, well, there is play. But how the heck am I going to do that? Get this gear on top of there, but yet have enough. Don't have pressure so it won't push the um, the screw like this. It has to be straight to go in. Oh, well. Looks like it has to come out again, folks. Ah, interesting. All right, let's see what happens. Here we go. I'll go a little at a time, maybe. Maybe a little brute force, but not too much brute force. You don't want to break it. <laughs> that is amazing. That really is amazing. And if I can get this to go over it, it would be okay. And I know. Well, it's got to come out. I hate to say that. It's got to come out. There we go. We'll try it again, all right? Take it out. Take it out. Nice and easy. And I, oh, wait a minute. If I could get that, that gear that just, sh I wish I had another hand. Just to get in there. Ah, ah, maybe, maybe, maybe. And hold that gear like that. Let's see, fellas. There we go. I hope. I'm hoping that she still screw in though. I didn't lose it. it feels like it. Well, oh boy. Did I bend that? Oh boy. Unless that washer doesn't go on there. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Alright, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I don't believe it. It's camp. It's got to be something more than that. Because that gear is on an angle. I don't think that gear should be on an angle. I think it's that darn, darn spring. Well, I'm assuming that this gear, maybe this gear doesn't. Well, let's see something. Let's, can you see that? Let's tighten up on this, this gear. Let's see what the heck happens. Ah, uh, that's, tr that's straight, and it misses, it misses the gear, completely misses the gear. Oh boy. And I, you, that gear can't go in the front, in other words, it can't go in front of this, this piece of metal here. It's no room, and it just wouldn't hold it. Right. You know what? I'm going to take that lock washer off. Maybe it doesn't belong there. Let's see. So we're going to take the whole thing apart again. And I'm getting rid of the lock washer. Let's see what happens. And there we go. Now, the only reason I'm saying it goes back there 
is because the shaft, the shaft is some light on here, is thick. And this is the screw part. So that's where I'm saying that that gear, because of the, the diameter of the opening, it just goes right on there. And it spins and it doesn't wobble. So that tells me that belongs there. Maybe this washer doesn't belong there. Let's try it without the washer. Because don't forget, there was a previous owner, and I'm sure he, he must have tried to work on this. But let's see how I can get this in. There we go, isn't that easy? It'd be nice. Sometimes, huh? And sometimes. Yeah, I think it did. Now, you see what I mean, fellas? There's a distance in there. This, unless, unless I make it go forward and I'll be enough to like it'll come back. Now, let's try something too. Let's try this. Back it off just a little bit. Then I can push this gear. <laughs> back a little bit, maybe enough so it'll, it'll uh, pop into where it's supposed to be. That would be nice, right? Doesn't seem like it's, oh, 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 maybe we got it, fellas, maybe we got it. Maybe that washer wasn't supposed to be there. Let's see, because it's it's lined up with the gear, both gears. Right, let's see. But I notice when it drops, this thing doesn't go back. Now, was it because it had a magnet? Or did you actually have to do it physically? Because this, I don't know how old this is. Maybe it goes back to the 40s, or maybe later. But it doesn't have a date. Uh, bear with me, fellas. Uh, I'm trying to read what it says on this thing. So worn out. Um, Lionel, New York, made in USA. No, that doesn't help what I want. Well, you know what? Let's see at least if it dumps. How's that? <laughs> this was an interesting project, huh? Let me get some power on this. Okay. Get this one here. Put this on the track. <laughs> and let's see what happens. Oh boy. Okay. Come on. Something's happening. <laughs> it works. It dumps, but the uh, the door doesn't go back. Unload. Let me see. Unload. Wow, that's pretty good, huh? I guess the next thing is to see why the door don't go back up. But then, of course, you know, I'll have to get some research and see 
if you actually have to do this, but I don't know. Usually you figure once it dumps and it falls back, this should go back. But there's nothing that pulls it back. But at least that gear, yeah, let me show you. Maybe you can, I hope you can see the gear. Get the light in there. Yeah, maybe you see it now. <clears throat> Whoops. Here's the gear that I, I screwed in. And this is the gear that's actually on the door. And when you lift it, see how see how they just mesh, and the and this wheel is actually turning too, and it stays there. Yeah, well, and then uh, did you hear that? I got a feeling maybe you, you have to do it by hand. But I'm gonna look into that but it definitely dumped <laughs> well, now what You gotta get it in a certain spot. Well, it works. Well, actually, that's, that really is not. Uh, maybe we gotta put a little more power. Oh, I see. You gotta hold. You have to hold it. Once you release it, it goes down. Let me try it again. Well, at least it dumps, fellas. Uh, I'll have to do a little research. Or oh, maybe somebody out there has a car. It's an uh, automatic dump car, Lionel, and the number is 3469 Lionel. And uh, maybe you have one there and you can you know, make a comment saying, uh, yes, you have to... Uh, close the door by hand or you can tell me maybe there's something else that should be uh, on the car to uh, pick it up but these these are not magnets uh, anyway fellas everybody out there appreciate you watching it I know it was a long video but I just wanted everybody to get to feel how you really work on an old car in the detail. I could have just did a little part, shut the video, and then do another one, but I want to do the whole thing. Take care. Have a great day, fellas. Bye.